Another hand were I uh, <clears throat> two pennies a motherfucker. I just didn't feel like he had anything. Or no no no, actually what I thought was there's a lot of implied odds if I hit a hand. That's what I was thinking. I believed him on his raise. I believed him on his race, but I still felt like heads up, 10-8, if I do hit the flop, it'd be alright. I didn't believe his betting out, that's for sure. I thought if he raised to 42 cents pre-flop, then this flop should not have hit him and the chances of him having an over pair is a lot slimmer but I went with that read because that 42 cent bet looked kind of suspicious I don't know if that makes any sense I don't know why he would call here if he didn't have anything. But at this point, I'm committed. I raised to 10, he raises to 45. The whole point of raising to 10 was so I could stand a raise. So my thinking was if I make a hand, like a straight or a flush, I could stack them. And that's why I called for the implied odds. And then on the flop, this flop should not have hit his range. It hits my range. And this is what Komodo Dragon was talking about when not to continuation bet with Ace King. And he does. So I'm going to raise him here. He should have folded. There was no reason for him to... There was no reason for him to call my raise. When he calls, it becomes a little scary. But a brick comes on the turn. And I, if I was ahead on the flop, I'm still ahead here. And two cents is just not gonna do it. I left him with two cents. I left him with two cents. Two cented him. I two cented him. 